This is Gene Key, SkyServe News. An internal affair investigation into a fatal shooting by Del Rio police has led to the resignation of two probationary officers and the suspension of seven police officers. KNS5.com reports from Del Rio. Del Rio Police Chief Waylon Bullard suspended the officers last month and the two officers resigned in lieu of being fired. Captain Fred Knoll said Monday the officers would not be charged in the February 17th shooting. According to court documents, 50-year-old Pedro Saldivar was fatally shot after his semi-trailer moved towards Del Rio police officers and members of the Valverde County Sheriff's Office. Documents say the internal investigation revealed the discharge of weapons, putting officers and citizens in danger, and a supervisor officer failed to manage personnel, causing the rest of the city to not be properly protected. A Houston woman is being held in China on spy charges. KHOU.com reports from Houston. A Houston man is desperate to help his wife, who's being held in a Chinese jail. Jeff Gillis said his wife Sandy made a trip to China with city leaders, including Houston's mayor pro tem Ed Gonzalez, as well as Houston and Chinese businessmen on a trade delegation in March of this year. Sandy was stopped at a border checkpoint, accused of being a spy, and has been detained ever since. She was the only one detained. For the last six months, Fon Gillis was being held in a residential facility, which is similar to house arrest. However, just this past weekend, she was moved to an actual jail. Gillis is speaking out about his wife's ordeal now as the Chinese president visits the United States in hopes of putting pressure on the U.S. and Chinese authorities to let her go. Pond Gillis is a naturalized American citizen of Chinese descent who was born in Vietnam. A shocking statistic has been released. One in five female UT students report being sexually assaulted. KVUE.com reports. Nearly one in five female students at the University of Texas at Austin has reported being sexually assaulted since enrolling at the school, according to a report released Monday. The report, which surveyed more than 150,000 students about sexual assault and misconduct at 27 campuses nationwide, showed about 23% of women report being the victim of sexual assault. About 5% of men reported similar victimization nationwide. At UT Austin, where 6,600 students were surveyed by the Association, Association of American Universities, 18.5% of female undergraduates reported being the victim of sexual assault, compared to 5% of men on campus. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.